Are you looking for the best controller settings so that you never lose in the one of you want? Well, search no more because in this video, we're diving deep into the best possible controller settings. It's time to optimize your victory potential with the best controller settings out there that not everyone knows about. So stick around because I'm about to boost your accuracy, enhance your building, and skyrocket your overall performance. And whether you're a casual player or a dedicated pro, these settings will revolutionize the way you play Fortnite. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into the ultimate Fortnite controller settings. So to kick things off, I have my HUD scale set to 70% because uh, having the HUD a bit covering too much of your screen can be a bit dis disabling and it, it might cover some of the potential data that you might need, for example, where a potential enemy is. So really, you want to reduce the HUD scale and I recommend 70% so that you can see the world clear. As for the touch and motion tab, I won't touch any of this because gyro aiming is not really the best for competitive and it really is a really like sort of a testing sort of option and I would only use it if you'd be trying it trying it out but not actually when you're playing seriously so just ignore this tab and let's move on to the next tab so on to the controller options so for controller Oteron and build immediately I would have these on and you really want to have build immediately on because it's builder pro which means that uh, you build a lot faster than usual so this is really a must-have for all controller players and just make sure that you have this enabled. Moving on, we have edit hold time and slide hold time. I have my edit hold time really low because um, if you wanna have quick edits, you really wanna lower this time so that you don't have to wait like when you're holding the edit button. So having it low is very good for fast edits. Moving on, we also have some more stuff over here like vibration. Just make sure that it's off because vibration is a bit annoying when you're playing seriously and competitively. As for the look sensitivity and aim sensitivity, it's not going to be uh, enabled because I'm going to be using advanced options So just make sure that advanced options is enabled and it should be grayed out But following that there will be more options to customize following that there will be build mode and edit mode sensitivities I have build mode set a bit higher than the edit mode because build mode is sort of a 3d plane Where you can place builds everywhere and ed edit mode is a 2d plane So like you're only editing one build piece so we want to have that a bit slower so you don't actually mess up your edits and so that you have actually more accuracy on the edits as for my look speeds for horizontal and vertical i had them at 24 percent so a bit higher than the default because the default is really too slow for me and this might change depending on how you play and just overall how you play uh, in your skill set we also have some turning and horizontal and vertical boost so this is basically when you turn and after about 20, 20 milliseconds, this boost is going to enable. So basically that means that uh, the camera is going to speed up and this is actually really good for when you want to turn around very quickly. So the game is going to detect after 20 milliseconds, it's going to detect that you're trying to turn around. So it's going to speed it, speed up a bit and 28% is the sweet spot for me because any higher and you might actually overshoot it. So you might actually do like a 360. So 28% is actually perfect and you might change this or fine tune it according to your prefer uh, preference. So as for the ADS look horizontal speed and it's vertical speed, I have them on default because ADS is basically when you aim down sights. So for example, when you're aiming with a weapon or with a sniper, you don't want this too fast because when you're aiming down sights, you're trying to get more accuracy. So making it go too fast is actually not what it's made for. So just having it on default is pretty good. And just for the rest of this, you just want to have this on default because the horizontal boosts aren't really, the horizontal and the vertical boosts aren't really useful in this case because we're just trying to aim, right? We're not trying to turn around. So just leaving this on default is perfect. As for advanced sensitivity, I have look dampening time on default. So uh, this is basically how much time it takes before you, so that you can make like small adjustments. Not really sure about this one, but leaving on default works best for me. So just make sure you have that like that. And we also have look input curve. So you really want to make sure that you have exponential set because having it on linear is not the best as it can be very limiting. As it says right here, it says linear uses the raw stick input and exponential is just a bit more advanced. So it's just going to take more inputs from your controller. So just uh, an overall better experience and you have more control over the game. We also have aim assist over here. There's literally no reason to have this lower than 100% because if you don't know what it is, aim assist is basically the game helping you uh, target a player. So this is only available for controller players and having this enabled, so basically 100% is the best option. And I wouldn't see any reason why anyone would lower this because this setting is basically to help you. As for my controller dead zones, I have left stick and right stick. 
a bit uh, under the, the normal setting and this can change depending on uh, which controller you have and basically how the controller is used like how long you've been using it for my controller 19% and 60% works best but for your controller it might be a little different so this is a setting that these, these are settings that you might have to fine tune along the way and yeah for the rest the only thing you really want to focus about is this vehicles tab right here which is accelerate with thumbstick and it's a very very annoying when you have it on on because basically that means that you can uh, accelerate in the car while having your thumbstick pointed up and that's just really annoying because literally no other game works like that as usual you do want to accelerate with the r2 button so just have the set on off to actually have the r2 button to be the only accelerate button as for the sound i'm just gonna move over this really quickly um you want to have sound quality high 3d headphones on and you want to make sure that you have visualized sound effects because this is very useful because it basically shows the markers on your screen so basically if a player is shooting in the distance or if a player is healing it shows on your screen so sometimes you don't actually hear it so this is very useful and that's going to be all for the audio tab so moving on to the controller tab so this is where i have my controller uh, settings basically my keybinds so i set it on custom and basically these, these are the settings that work best for me you should probably copy these because honestly it's the best if you want to be really good at fortnite and you just don't want to have any more difficulty controlling the game so that's for my combat controls as for my build controls i have basically the normal builder pro settings and uh, a bunch of other random stuff that is pretty much default as for my edit controls i have reset on l2 not sure if that's the fault but i've had it on this since forever and it's just amazing because now you don't have to really move your fingers when you want to reset the builds it's a lot faster and this is for the ability controls and this doesn't really matter because it's only ability it's not actually a core aspect of the game and one more thing before we end this video is that in this video tab there is the graphics uh section right here so you want to make sure that you set a colorblind mode so col colorblind mode basically makes it so the colors are a bit more vibrant so you can see better and uh, honestly the best that worked for me is tritonope so it's a bit brighter to see the the weapon rarities and colors so it's just overall better when uh, the game is a bit too dark in certain zones colorblind strength it, it highly depends but i like it to have it on eight and motion blur is very very annoying so like basically it's a small blur when you turn your camera very fast and as it says in the description basically like makes nausea and also it puts it makes your game a bit laggier when you turn around so if you just want to have the best uh, gaming performance you just want to have this off yeah just make sure you have it off and there you have it practice and experimentation will be your best friend as you find tune these settings to best suit your playstyle if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on more fortnite videos related to creative or just fortnite in general if you got any questions or just want to share your own settings just drop a comment below i'd love to hear from you so yeah that's going to be it for this video thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one